Hey, this is Scott at CircuitBasics.com. In this video, I'd like to share uh, something with you that happened to me a while ago. And kind of give you a little warning, too. I was kind of stupid and inserted a capacitor the wrong way into my breadboard when I was working on a project. And I had the power connected. And the thing exploded between my fingers. I got kind of burned. It wasn't that bad. But uh, it could have been dangerous. So I just want to show you here what can happen. This is a tantalum capacitor. You know, I'm only using 9 volts, but that's still enough to do some damage. So let me show you how I have this set up. I've got a tantalum capacitor inserted in the breadboard. I've got a 9 volt battery connected up to the power rails of the breadboard. And from the positive rail, I have a jumper wire connecting to a push button and another jumper wire connecting from the push button to the negative side of the tantalum capacitor. And then the other side of the tantalum capacitor, I have another jumper wire connecting to the negative. So when I press the push button, current's gonna flow through the tantalum capacitor, but the tantalum capacitor is connected the wrong way. So let's see what happens. Almost immediately, you can see the color of it getting darker. There it goes. It doesn't take long. And let's watch that in slow motion just for fun. So it's pretty dramatic, you know, as you can see this flame shooting out the side there. You don't want your fingers in there. <clears throat> Trust me. The takeaway of this video is never connect anything with the power on. That should be rule number one of any electronic project you work on. Alright, well that's it, and thanks for watching. And definitely share it if you know anybody that might not know how dangerous it could be to uh, connect components with, uh, with a live circuit. Alright, well talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.